update your network driver, the right adapter settings, and TCP optimizer to optimize the data transfer between your PC and your network. This is how to set up everything to get the least amount of ping you can possibly get on your Windows PC. And what we're going to do in the first place, guys, is basically update our network controller. For me, it's the Realtek one. You either have Intel, Realtek. Those are like really the two most common ones. And all we need for this is a very specific tool called Snappy Driver. And this one you can get from the link in the video description, guys. Just simply get the latest version here. And we already have it here in our downloads. And what we're going to do is make a new folder, Snappy Drivers. And then all you got to do, guys, is extract it exactly in here. And we don't actually want to click on any of these X's, but actually onto the bat file, which is in here, SDYO. Just simply click onto it and click under yes. And now we are already in the tool itself. Make sure you click on accept. Of course, allow firewall access and all of that. And now we just simply have to wait for a little bit until exactly this window here pops up. Welcome, Snappy Driver Installation Origin. And we want to make sure to click under download indexes only, guys. We don't want to download anything. Just simply the index so it shows us exactly what's all missing on our PC. This actually went on super fast. And now you can see we have everything here, which is basically missing on our PC. But what we focus around is for me here now, the Realtek PC GB Family Controller. Because if you guys remember right, in my test manager under Ethernet, it actually tells me that it's the Realtek PC GB Family Control. All I'm going to do now is actually put the check here next to it. As mentioned, for you, it could be either a Realtek or Intel. And then all you gotta do is click here under install. Then you can see now installing one out of one, and it's basically downloading and reinstalling it here on your PC. You can now see you guys successfully installed, and we're already good to go and done with this step. Now, what you can do is, of course, delete the tool. Next up, guys, we're going to continue with some more advanced network settings. What you gotta do is switch up your device manager, open it up. Once we're in here, you're gonna see here now network adapters just simply open it up search up exactly the controller which you have for me it's a realtek pc gb family controller double click onto it and now in here we have a bunch of options first of all go into power management and make sure that allow this computer to turn off this device to save power is unchecked and we're going to go actually here into advanced and in here now we have a whole entire list we're going to copy exactly my setting advanced ee you're going to put undisabled arp offload undisabled auto disabled gigabit undisabled energy efficient ethernet disabled flow control undisabled gigabit light disabled Green Ethernet, disabled. Interrupt moderator, disabled. IPv4 checksum offload, disabled. Dribble frame as well, undisabled. Large send offload, V2, IPv4, disabled. The same one as well for IPv6 as well, undisabled. Maximum number of RSS queues. This one you're going to max out to just simply what's the highest one, which is available for you. For most of you, it's going to be four queues because other than that, you got to have a really low CPU. And yeah, therefore, just simply put it on the highest one, which for me is four queues. Then NS offload, disabled. Power savings mode disabled, priority and VLAN, gonna just simply leave under priority and VLAN enabled. Receive buffers, you're gonna max out again. For me, it's 512. If you're on Intel, it's probably 1024, and that just simply max it out. Receive side scaling enabled, shutdown wake up on LAN disabled, speed and duplex auto negotiation, TCP checksum offload, IPv4, RX and TX enabled, the same as well with the V6 version. Transmit buffers, again, you're gonna max out completely. For me, it's 128. If you're on Intel, it's probably gonna be a little bit higher. UDP checksum offload V4 undisabled, the same as well with the V6 one as well undisabled. Wake up on magic packet undisabled, the same as well with the second option also undisabled. Wake up on pattern match also disabled. And shutdown link speed you're gonna put on not speed down. And we already set and good to go. Click on OK. And this is how we fully set it up. Next up, guys, we're going to use a tool called TCP Optimizer, which basically helps us with the process of optimizing how our PC transmits data between our PC and the network. You can just simply get the latest version on the link in the video description as well again. Once you get it then, it should look exactly like this here. Right click and run it as administrator. Then you can see guys, it's going to load you exactly all of the network settings. And in here now we have a bunch of settings which we can customize. What we're going to do in the first place guys, is real quick check that we have the right Realtek controller or Intel one selected actually. For me as mentioned, it's Realtek. Drag the connect speed all the way to the right side. Even if your internet can't provide that, you just simply want to make sure that it's uncapped. Then now you can see we can't really change anything in here, right? So what we got to do is click on the custom underneath. In here now we have a bunch of settings. First of all, TCP window auto tuning leave on normal. Window scaling, heuristics leave on disabled. Congestions control provider on CTCP. Receive side scaling unenabled. And R segment coalescing you gotta actually put undisabled. Then on the right side you're gonna put the first value here, time to live to 64 exactly. Then ECN capability, you're going to put to enabled. Checksum offload, you're going to put to disabled. TCP chimney offload to disabled as well. Large send offload, LSO, you're going to put under disabled as well. TCP 1323 timestamps, you're going to put under enabled. So therefore, let's change it here. And now we're already done here with the first settings. Now all you gotta do is click on advanced settings. Maximum connections per one underscore zero server, you're going to put actually to 10. The same as well with max connection per server, this one you're also going to put to 10. 
For the host resolution priority, we're just simply going to prioritize it. So therefore, we're going to put the first one under 4. The second one, we're going to put under 5. The third one, DNS priority, we're going to put under 6. And the fourth one, we're going to put under 7, guys. Just simply a ranking. Now, under max sin retransitions, you're going to put this one here to 2. Non-sec RTT resellance. The setting underneath, you're going to leave undisabled. Initial RTO, you're going to put to 2000. And minimal RTO, you're going to leave on 300. Non-best effort limit, you're going to put to 0. The setting underneath, you're going to put to optimal 1. The network throttling index, we're going to put under disabled. And then this hexadecimal number. System responsiveness, we're going to put actually to gaming 0, guys. Super important. TCP egg frequency, we're going to leave under default, not announced. TCP no delay as well under default, not announced. And the setting underneath, we're also going to put a default not announced. The network memory allocation, large system cache, this one we're going to put to enabled one. And size, we're going to put to optimized three. Then for max user port, this one we're going to put to six, five, five, three, four. And TCP timed out wait delay, we're going to put to 30. Then you're already good to go and just simply click on the apply here real quick. Then you can see some registry changes might require a reboot of your system and we're going to do this and then you're already good to go.